Hey folks, it's Steve with Prima Coffee. Today we are taking a look at the Burr alignment tool for the EK43 series by Malkonig. It is a simple set of tools that will help you radially align your EK43 burrs. So what you get in this kit is a couple of different parts. Um, the main one is this tool. This is a piece of aluminum uh, and it has sort of three fingers on it. Um, those fingers are important for actually kind of grabbing the outer edge of your burrs um, and aligning them with either the actual drive shaft of the grinder uh, or centering them on the burr carrier slash pre-breaker or whatever you prefer to call that. So this is the actual alignment tool itself. What you also get is a steel rod, um, which you may not need to use, but uh, it just kind of depends on when your grinder was manufactured. Um, you get obviously an instruction book, and there's actually some really great illustrations in here that show you exactly what you need to do uh, for each step, and it's really clearly explained, so really nice and easy to follow along with that. You also get a little packet of lubricant, um, just in case you need to replace the, the lube on your drive shaft. Uh, and on the shear plate inside your grinder. So, what you also need in order to actually align your burrs, you're gonna need a slide screwdriver. And we'd recommend probably having some dry cleaning materials like a brush and a cloth. Because um, if you've been using your grinder and you're servicing it or installing a new set of burrs or something like that, um, you're probably gonna need to clean it out a bit. And working with a clean grinder is the best way to make sure that your burrs are actually well aligned. Um, before I actually start showing you um, how this works, I do want to explain that radially aligning your burrs is not the only way to align your burrs. If you have uh, concerns about grind consistency, this may not be the solution that you need. Um, what this tool does is it centers the outer edge of the burrs and uh, along the center of the drive shaft um, and on the, the burr carrier itself. So basically, it makes the edges of the burrs agree with each other. Um, it does not ensure that they are perfectly parallel uh, or that there is no uh, like axial tilt. Um, so there might conceivably be some other issues. There could be some warping in your burrs. There could be all kinds of other problems. So this is one means of aligning the burrs in your grinder. Um, and it is pretty important. Um, I just want to make sure that we understand that there's a few different other ways to align your burrs if that should be something you need to do. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the faceplate of my grinder. So that's just need to uh, loosen some slotted screws here. This is a pretty easy first step. Uh, and that just gets me access to the grind chamber and the burrs themselves. Uh, so this whole faceplate is going to come right off. I need to make sure that I'm holding it so it doesn't fall and break anything. But there's just two screws and they're pretty simple to take off. Uh, so I'm going to first remove this shear plate. Um, you don't need to, but it can help um, kind of allow things to move a little bit more freely. So this is kind of greasy. You just want to set it aside someplace clean. Um, and then I'm going to use just the tip of the screwdriver to kind of gently prise the pre-breaker out of the grinder. Um, it can help if you have two to kind of get two points where you're able to pull. Um, really, uh, you need it to um, come forward just like a couple of millimeters and then you should be able to grab it with your fingers. Okay, so I've got my burr carrier out um, and I'm gonna actually work on this rotating burr first. So first step is to just loosen these three screws. Uh, I don't need to remove them fully uh, unless of course I wanted to take it out and clean it, but my burrs, I, I cleaned them prior to starting this process. So I'm just gonna loosen these three screws. Just a couple of turns. Basically what I want is a little bit of motion in that burr because the next step that we're gonna do, um, for this particular burr carrier, this is a, uh, a modern, what we call a, a post-2018 burr carrier. Um, it is anodized black aluminum. Um, the previous steel burr carriers um, have a slightly different size and, and shape. So we actually uh, have a slightly different step for those older ones versus these newer black carriers. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take the steel rod, I'm gonna insert it into the hole in the center, and then I'm gonna line up the tool. I have two cutouts that I need to uh, make sure are aligned. So you can see there's sort of a cutout going straight across here. 
And then I have just uh, kind of mirrored on the um, burr carrier itself are these two cutouts. So I want to make sure that those two slots line up with that. Um, however, this burr or this uh, tool is not going to slide fully over the burr carrier. It would on the steel versions. It would actually sort of click into place. Um, but again, the dimensions are slightly different. Um, so what I've been able to do now is with this rod, it's going straight through the tool, and that is. Uh, ensuring that both of these are centered on the same axis, which means that my three little fingers now are holding my burr in place where I want it. I'm actually going to rotate it slightly um, just for kind of aesthetic purposes, but I'm uh, mainly trying to get my screws to line up more or less center in their holes. Um, and from there, all I need to do is actually tighten them down again. Um, what I prefer to do is tighten them loosely, each one at a time, and then um, kind of go back and tighten them down more fully. Um, I feel that that uh, helps ensure that your position is maintained. Um, the fingers do hold it into place, but again, I, I'm, I am trying to sort of hold those screws um, more or less in the center of their cutouts, and tightening one could shift that a little bit on me. All right. All three are nice and tight. I just need to push that rod out. I can set that aside, I'm done with it. And then I pull my tool off. So that is the rotating burr done. I can set that aside. Uh, in order to address the stationary burr, um, I am going to actually take the tool and slide it right over the drive shaft and kind of basically repeat that process. What I'm gonna do first though is set the grinder down kind of on its back, just so it's a little bit easier for me to work. All right, it's quite heavy, so be careful. Um, and we're gonna repeat the same process. So I'm going to loosen my three screws, just a couple of turns. And again, I just basically want there to be a little tiny bit of play in my burr. Uh, now I can take my tool and like I said, just slide it right over that drive shaft. I might need to shove my burr a little bit out of the way here. And then what I can do is I can actually spin this and that kind of makes sure that I have three point contact around the outside of the burr, which sort of just helps center it. Uh, and then actually I, I don't need to do anything. I was looking again to make sure those screws were centered um, in their cutouts. And I'm basically just gonna tighten it down. So really, really simple here. Uh, the tool makes very quick and easy work of making sure that these, your burrs are uh, centered. Again, radially with the drive shaft as a reference point. Um, really, really quick and easy to do. All right, final little tighten and we are good. I will pull my tool off and now I'm good to reassemble the grinder. I can actually start doing that just from here. Uh, I'll take my burr carrier, slide it back into place. I'll take my shear plate, slide that in. Good. And then our face plate and screws can slide that back on. Um, now, if I had cleaned off uh, too much grease uh, in the process, or maybe my, uh, you know, just the drive shaft and the uh, shear plate itself weren't well greased before I started assembling the grinder again, uh, that's where this packet would come in handy. You just dispense a little bit. You probably don't, it's a, it's a one gram packet. You probably don't even need half of it to re-grease uh, the drive shaft. You don't need much at all. Um, just kind of enough to coat a fingertip, get it around the drive shaft, uh, get a little bit inside the burr carrier itself in that channel, um, and then a little bit on the shear plate, and that'll help keep everything nice and greased. Um, you do want to re-grease the grinder periodically anyway, so hold on to that, and that'll make sure everything's working nice and smoothly. So there we are. We very quickly and easily align those burrs again radially so their edges sort of agree with each other and match up. Um, like I said earlier, if there are other issues with your uniformity uh, or your just your grind consistency in general, you may want to look at other means of aligning your burrs or addressing them. Um, it's not a super common problem. 
Um, but if you have some issues, you might want to look uh, at other means. Um, radial alignment is typically uh, most often needed when you are replacing burrs or servicing the grinder in such a way that you have removed the burrs to get under them and clean them. Um, it's just a good way to make sure that you are aligning everything so your grinder is set up to grind perfectly once it's back in assembled. So that is the Malkonig burr alignment kit for the EK43 series. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more content like this, we've got all kinds of product overviews, comparisons, recipes, events coverage, and more. Feel free to subscribe, like, share this video, and let us know what you think in the comments.